We are gonna plant some corn today. Are you having tricks and an M&M cookie for breakfast? Seems legit. <laughs> We're pretty sure we got an issue with a tile inlet in a field that we'd like to get into before too long here, but we got water running right past the inlet into the field. So we're gonna go poke around, see if we can find something, and hopefully not have to get an excavator out here. Boy, if I sink in there much, you might have to plant without me this spring. The 6410 isn't that far away. No, it's not. We can pull you out. It's just grass. It's how are we going to stop it from filling up like that? It's just like grass and scum. Because when you move it, it flows down in there wherever I wipe it away with the shovel. I'm afraid to go too far here. And... So if I get it too far open, it'll pull me in just like a toilet. But you're too big and you won't fit. Yeah, I suppose if it pulls me down in there. Then we really got an issue because you have to get a back on plug, it, plug it, it tight. Yeah. You have to put an inlet in before me then. <laughs> that would work. Well, I opened it up some, but it, I wonder, I'm halfway thinking about just taking the cage out. That's what I'm thinking, pull the cage out. Because if that stuff goes in there, it's going to wash away with the water. Oh, man. The water's coming back out of the field well, into it now. In a week or so, we can come put the cage back on. We're never a big fan of wide open outlets. This one is in the road ditch, so we don't till right up next to it. It's got the grass around it to, to hold the nutrients. But the other option is this water flows over the top of that soil, trenches it away and causes all kinds of erosion. And with that, obviously, goes the black soil and the nutrients. If you do it this way and you send the water underground, as the water goes through the ground, it actually filters the nutrients. The nutrients will stay back with the soil and the water will end up in the pipe. The exception being nitrogen in a certain form, which is always our struggle to make sure we, we do the right job of managing that. Well, that'll help. We are still in a situation this morning where we're just a little bit too wet, so we're purposely holding off a few hours to let this sun do some work. It was actually only 39 degrees earlier this morning. It's still chilly, but it isn't bad. At least the sun's out, there's not a cloud in the sky. So we're gonna let this sunshine work and dry off the top of the soil. And we've got uh, nitrogen coming for right around lunchtime. After they spread that, we'll do some tillage, work it in. So in the meantime, I'm gonna do an hour of work on this buggy. I'd love to show you guys exactly what I'm doing under the left rear of this car, but then I'd have to kill you because as every good racer knows, you never show the rear suspension. Sorry. Well, that was much easier than changing an oil filter on a John Deere sprayer. I'm headed up to Mark's right now. I can see they got the floater out on the field. So do you want me to run home, grab the digger and just get going on it? Probably could, huh? I don't see why not. The quicker we get the digger on there, the quicker the planter can get out there. Yeah, and the digger's got a ways to go if we're gonna dig tonight, too. Right, do you think we wanna see if Jim wants to take a couple loads to Morris and then he can jump in the digger as soon as those are done? We could, yeah. We got nitrogen going on the field right now, so what we're gonna do is load up some seed into the J&M seed tender here and uh, split it into boxes. We got it all figured out. We're gonna get some in here, that way we don't have to bring the planter home to load it once we get to a point where we're out of seed in that field, but we should have enough seed left for about 55 acres in the planter yet. gonna head out with the field cultivator and get that nitrogen worked under. I'm gonna check a couple other fields here to see what order we want to do things in. We need to let the uh, fertilizer guys know 
as soon as we can, preferably a day or two ahead of time when we can, so that we can get them in front of us, get the field cultivator behind them, and then hopefully let the dirt dry for at least a half a day before the planter gets on it. So right now we're trying to coordinate everything. He's gonna go out and till that field, and we're gonna stay busy. I have decided to venture south in search of something drier. This is one of our lighter pieces you can see. We didn't till it last fall. We waited on this one, figuring if it didn't get tilled, it really isn't a big deal. It's always a little wet there. We'll see what it looks like. I think I like the one at home better. Hey Jackson, we're gonna switch it up. Yeah, let's throw the end down on that 80 north of the railroad tracks before we come down here to Starbuck. Yep, I think so, because then we'll, they'll be in opposite order. Perfect, thank you. Next up, as I wait for Dad to finish tilling that field, we got a call saying that uh, they're gonna send a soybean truck up to get loaded in about an hour. So in order to speed that process up, I may as well load the grain cart, then I can use the scale on that to make sure that I'm getting them loaded to the correct weight as well. And we got Jim out running trucks for us today. All kinds of choreographing going on to keep everything running. And all I really wanna do is plant corn. now would be a good time to mention Farmers Business Network or FBN. We are actually going to plant some of their conventional corn this spring. See how that does. FBN is not specifically sponsoring this video, but they are a sponsor of mine. But I've been a member of FBN since long before we ever discussed any sponsorship stuff on my channel. If you guys are interested in potentially becoming a member, I just wanted to remind you that you can save $100 on that membership right now by using the link in the description and entering the code MNMF100. That's all. I'll go back to work now. She's full. I got a couple loose ends to check on this thing while I wait for that truck now. She fired. Farman. Something with these row cleaners is not right. They're inconsistent. Some go up, some don't. Some go down, some don't. They're not holding consistently, and I don't know what the issue is. I've been on the phone with Yetter a couple times. We're going to figure it out. I just haven't yet. I guess my truck is here. Soybean truck loaded corn truck back and row cleaners or not I'm going planting I can hold them up out of the way they're not messing with anything right now so I think I'll be able to tinker with them a little bit more in the field and hopefully figure out something that's going on there you ready to go farming kid yeah we're planting got a haircut Onyx is excited to show off his haircut we are planting we're gonna be out of seed in about 30 acres here so I'm uh, actually running some strip trials through here strip here strip over there and then I'll come back and fill it in once we switch varieties that'll give us an idea how this new variety will stack up against one of our other stronger ones so you can see the row cleaners running maybe 50% of the time at the most um, which is actually what the Yetter guys told me that they should run about half the time maybe a hair more I'd like to lower them down just a touch, but the issue I'm having is I've got five or six of them that want to dig trenches when I start putting some down pressure on them, and the rest of them don't want to move. It's late now, so they're not going to answer the phone and go through a lot of stuff with me. I'm just going to kind of keep messing with it, but they're not, they're not screwing with anything right now. They're actually kind of working, um, knocking stuff out of the way just right. They're not bad, so I'm going to keep going with them like this and kind of tinker with them throughout the night and 
and hopefully talk to those guys tomorrow and see if I can get somewhat of an idea of what I'm doing wrong here because I'm certain that it's probably something like that. I'm just not working correctly with them. I just need some education. Seed check. So we've got a seed down in here. We want it right around two inches, which we are real close. This crease on my finger is right at two inches. By the time you level that all off, we're right up in there. Seed at the bottom of the trench. Pretty consistently inch and three quarter to two inches right in there. That's about where we want it. I'd like to see them all right around two inches, but it seems like anytime I mess with it, then I kind of mess with my head and I'm, I'm going to say we're at two inches. We're good. Antique metal. Can he figure it out? <laughs> he was going to ask me for help and then he saw the camera was on. <laughs> there we go. Sure. Keep going. Convey door one. Turn the motor up. There we go. Door one. Load. Second hopper. Convey door two. Simple as that. Well, we're loaded back up, and the wife brought me supper. What do we have here from the, uh, the local pub? Pork sandwich, oh, barbecue, barbecue, and pasta salad or mac salad with with no utensil. Hi, any chance you want to bring me a spoon or a fork? She's only like a mile and a half away, or else I would just get by without the mac salad. See, she's right. She's she's right. She's over there. Wait a second. Oh, they fall apart. Oh, too much. Oh, the tensile strength on the chips is not strong enough to hold the mac salad. Otherwise, that would have been genius. Here comes my fork. Don't you dare film my messy car now. You edit it. It's not for the internet. Nom, nom, nom. We are about to enjoy a miraculous sunset. Monitors, Harmon. If you guys are not following me on Instagram, you certainly should be. Look at the amazing photos that you could be seeing. I'll get that in focus. I'll get it. I'll try. I'll. Well, you get the idea. It's a, it's a cool picture. You should follow me. Check it out or Facebook. It's on there too. Shameless plug. I didn't really catch the sunset for you guys because I was busy planting some andros over here, but. To be honest with you, it was it was only slightly above average anyway, so so we didn't miss that much. So when it gets dark out at night and you're bored, what do you do besides listen to the Drinking Bros podcast and crank up the music? I like to go through all the computers and fuss with every little tiny thing I can to see what the numbers do. I've been messing with the uh, roll cleaners a lot. I got them a little better, kind of where I like them. The issue is, it seems like if I get them down any little bit more than I want them there's like there's a few that start digging trenches but I got them set pretty close now they're they're pretty pretty non-aggressive which is fine for this conventionally tilled field without any corn stalks on it or corn residue any stuff like that so they're still doing their job they're doing a good job um, I don't dislike where they're at I just feel like I'm missing something like I'm not getting them set perfect so that's the control box there for the roll cleaners. There's my camera looking out the back. The dust messes with it a little bit at night, but I can still see my rows, so I'd be able to tell if uh, my closing wheels are pushing anything. Got my field view going. I can uh, switch these and watch population, hybrid, all these different things. I can watch all kinds of stuff, whatever, whatever I want to see up there. Uh, it's kind of nice. This is the main control box here. Right now I'm looking at the population trying to run a population here. This is my target of 33,500 seeds per acre. This is my actual 
that'll bounce around a little bit but this is your line here everything's staying pretty good I got a singulation of 99% right now actually that's my population this is my doubles and skips singulation my ride <sighs> all kinds of fun stuff to tinker with but mostly once you get sick of tinkering with the computers you uh, you really just kind of crank up the music and um, see if you can find anything in the bottom of your lunchbox of course you can also put the field view in the background on the iPad and open up Netflix and watch Cheers or something like that No, it's a phone interview. Yes, that uh, sports talk show that Dave does after the Red Sox game. Well, I uh, never met a beer I didn't drink. <laughs> well, that's it. That'll do it for uh, 149.6 acres today. Not bad considering considering we didn't start until about 5 o'clock or after. Uh, I'll go see how Dad is doing with the digger. Head back to the shop and uh, probably park this thing for the night. It's, uh, it's after 10, I don't know, 10.30, but... I don't think we don't have another field to start yet because I don't think the digger's far enough because of when we got the fertilizer because of how wet it was so we're we're uh, kind of out of acres right now uh, hopefully we'll get another couple hundred knocked out tomorrow and and keep moving okay five to four how are things going with the digger going good I just fold it up and fold out of here, done up here. Um, you want me to take that over? I don't know what to think. Um, I don't know. It's going good. I, I don't. I can run it for a while yet. I don't know if I'll finish or not. But I'm guessing maybe an hour and a half left. Ten four. Thank <laughs> you.